from Artsakh. I have been under blockade for about 100 days. You have probably already heard about me, but you keep ignoring me. Why are you silent? Why are you pretending to be blind? Why are you indifferent to me? Hello, I am Asya. My country is in a humanitarian disaster. For 100 days, our neighboring country, Azerbaijan, has deprived us of vital necessities, electricity, gas, at the same time threatening my right to life. But perhaps I'm not in your political or economic interest. Maybe I'm not profitable for you. Hello, I am William. I have been told that there are international rights, real letters of which are accountable to the law. Now all my human rights have been violated, but no one is responsible for violating my rights. Why are the number of international courts and human rights laws that do not work for me? Hello, I am Astrid. I've already learned to restrain my desires because I see the emptiness of the shops and the sad eyes of my parents. I've already learned not to be afraid or not to complain, but to believe with great perseverance and with all my heart that in the end good wins over evil, right over wrong, and legal over illegal. Hello, I am Alex. Everyone says that I am very curious, but still I don't understand why should I grow up in an atmosphere of fear? Why should I be deprived of my right to education? Why should I not have the opportunity to buy my favorite sweets from the shop? Why do I deserve this childhood? Why? Because I am Armenian.